Hello viewers, welcome to my channel again. We are on episode 6 and are calling it Geometry 2, the circle. So in the previous one, we talked about finding the equation of a circle when given the center and the radius. But still here, the radius is not given, but two points, that is the center and another point on the circle. You know, if I have a circle that have a center, uh, two and three, any point on the circle that is having the point five, four, seven, if I join the point center and that point, that will give me what? Radius. So the radius is just the distance between the center and any point on the circle. So now when I find the radius here, I can find the radius using the magnitude. I can find the magnitude or the distance between the two points, the length of distance between the two points. So finding the radius, you know, the radius is going to be the distance between the two points, which is going to be the x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 forward squared. Where in this case, if I decide to say x1, y1, x2, y2. So let's begin with here, then we come there. So 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 all squared plus 7 minus 3. So 7 minus 3 all squared. So the radius will be different between 5 and 2 will be 3. So 3 squared plus the difference between these will be 4, 4 squared. I think we can still have that to be the square root of 9 plus 4, 16. So the radius will be 9 plus 16 will be 25, meaning the radius of the circle is going to be 5. So now it means the radius has been derived, the center has been given to us. So in order to find the equation, which is in the form, so the equation is in the form x minus a all squared y minus b all squared equals to the radius squared, where the a, b are the center of the circle. So this is the a, this is the b. So by substitution, x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 3 all squared should be equal to radius which is what 5 squared so if you expand this you know under expansion of binomial that have a square here you square the first twice the product then square the last meaning x squared x times 2 will be 2x by minus times 2, so minus 4x square the last, meaning minus 2 square, that give us plus 4. Square the first, now be y square, they are product, minus 3y times the 2, that give us what, minus 6y, square the last, that will be plus 9, equals to 25, which is the 5 square. Alright, we are now going to arrange it in the general form which will be x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y. This and this will become 13. So plus 13, subtracting 25 from both sides. So we are left with 0 at the end. So this is the where we need to find the difference between that. So x squared, y squared, 4x. 6y, 13 minus uh, 25 will be negative. So we need uh, 12, right? So negative 12 equals to 0. So the equation of a circle that has a center 2, 3 and passes through the point 5, 7 on the circle will look like this. Where we know the center is the coefficient of this, if you take it out, you will still get your 2, 
you still get your the three as we have and if you take this equate it to the main thing you will still get the radius will be five all right i think the concept is clear combining this with the just previous episode episode five you will get the understanding of giving the center and the radius thank you for watching like the video if you find it educative leave a comment for us to get interactive show love by sharing this with somebody who might need this bye, -bye.